coming on to the next, let's have a word about films. Now, what do we say by films or uh, movies? Now, the name movies came into existence because they used to have pictures which used to move. So, initially there was still photography and post which came something which was movies uh, that is by roaming, by moving the negative real fast you could produce something moving pictures that is the reason why they were called movies with movies and slowly and gradually we call them films because uh, those negatives were actually called roles and films negative films is what we used to call it now why is this film a part of mass communication any guesses there are innumerable movies which are based on reality there are short films there are cultural films there are films which give you a message there are oscar winning movies which are which win the oscar only because they give you a message there was this Indian movie which was Slumdog Millionaire. Many of you, I mean almost everyone's heard about it. It was nominated for the Oscars. Now this film won, was nominated for the Oscars for the sole reason that it gave out a message. There was a story behind everything that the guy did. So, he was into this um, millionaire contest where you need to answer questions and you can become a millionaire and he could answer questions because he's learned something from somewhere or the other, from everywhere. There are a lot of takeaways from these movies that you can learn. Now, there was this movie which is Life of Pi. Now, even in that movie, there was a lot of things. How you, you I mean, what you could rather learn is how you can survive in the middle of the sea. I am not saying that it will come handy to everyone, but there will be a lot of um, things which people usually come to know. Like, for example, um, I was watching this movie the other day and I learned about a new form of police complaint that you can do. You can complain to the cops. I, I came to know a lot about legalities, a lot about law. It is just up to you. What do you want to understand? Films, theatres, these pass on a message to the society. Though not all of them. There are movies which are historic movies and have um, you know, a very good impact. If you want to know about the history, so they tell you what exactly happened in history. It is a very good form of learning. And the best part about it is, if you want to circulate a message through television or through films, it reaches all, most of the people around the world. So if the movie is specially made in Hollywood, yes, it will reach almost every nook and corner of the world. If the movie is not made in Hollywood, though difficult, yet... It reaches that concerned society. Now, coming on to the next, let's talk about books. There are a lot of people around the world who love to read books. Books not only improve your language, your vocabulary, but books also teach you. Right from our school days, we have been going through a lot of books, books of maths, books of everything. So, what is it happening? So, 1 plus 1 is 2. Where did I learn it? I learned it in my maths book. So, there is someone who is trying to communicate to us that 1 plus 1 is 2. There is someone who is trying to communicate to us that if we get an electric shock, you should use a wooden plank or anything made out of wood, wood which is not at all wet to separate the person who is stuck to the electric pole. You get this kind of information only from books. 
books are the best form of mass communication because 99% of the world's literate people have read some book or the other in their entire lifetime. So if you are literate, it doesn't mean that you are literate only when you know English. You can know any other language as well. So as long as you know other languages as well, right? So people around the world should um, have read some of the book. Now you have wonderful authors like Chetan Bhagat, Paulo Coelho and so many more. Harry Potter was a book first before it was released as a movie. So my friends, it is a form of mass communication because books also give us a very good message. Our learnings, our takeaways are most of the times from books. We learn a lot. We learn our basic education from books. We learn what great people, we learn stories about great people from books. We get the message about these great people from books. With the help of books, if you get up, if you write a poetry, if you write a poetry and you get it published in a book, all those people who would be reading that book would be knowing about your message that you are trying to pass on through the poetry. If you have had some kind of experience in your life and you want to share it with others, you can do it through the form of books. For those of you in whose ma- on the back in the back of whose mind it's running that well, you can even do it through internet, through your blog and so on. But however, how many people would even visit your blog? Yes, you might have innumerable followers. You might have maybe a million followers. But that's you. What about the general public? I'm talking. I'm talking about the general public out here. Not everyone. I don't have a million followers. I hardly have maybe ten followers. I don't even have my own blog. So what about people like me? I would prefer putting it in a book. And these days, you have another form of book that you have is the ebook, which is the you know invented by Amazon um, Kindle, the ebook reader. 